All right, so I'm gonna set up the MP1. Super antenna, really quick. So this is just a regular camera tripod. I keep everything in here. So this is the Yugi coil. This is the titanium whip. I personally don't care for that thing. Okay, so these are your extensions. Don't mix them up with the legs. These are the legs. So if you use this type of tripod, you can use that and put that one together. I just love these people who damn dog just barks endlessly. And I got somebody else a couple houses down that every day at five o'clock it sounds like 20 chihuahuas running around. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry has to have a dog around here for some reason, but they all don't take care of them. Okay, so this right here is this bracket. And it's got all these multiple different threads in it. So, I don't have the original clamp on mine anymore. Um, so, this will screw down on your camera bracket. You're just going to have to get this part out of the way. If you can get this one to fit around the clamp, you won't have to remove the clamp, but in my case, I'm going to have to remove the clamp. If I'm lucky, nope, I'm like, can I just pull it out of there and swing it over? So. Gonna have to completely remove this thing. That's okay. I don't know why people get dogs if they're just gonna leave them outside. go to work during the day and they leave their dog out all day for everybody else to listen to. And the dog gets loose and animal control comes and gets it. They complain and whine, oh my god, you killed my dog. So that's how this goes. You don't need to buy a camera tripod, you know what I mean? For $149 they're charging for a tripod. Um, I think HRO is 129 Amazon is 149 for the extra tripod. And it just fits any standard tripod. So you just buy the, the cheaper kit that doesn't come with the bottom tripod. Or you can just use this. I mean, it depends on which one you want to use. These are not going to be super stable anyways. Make sure I got everything in the view here. Okay. All right. So these are your two extensions. And you can angle this however you want. So. on this coil covers 10 through 40 with either of the standard whips and the reason I like this better than the Wolf River kit is because the Wolf River kit is decent but it's really kind of more do-it-yourself so when we have this ruler here 
it gives us a length for with the 80 meter coil where we're going to be out on the band or 60 meter coil or f just the 40 through 10. So just the 40 through 10, say we want to get on 10, we just go move this up to here. It shows anywhere from 26 to 30 megahertz and we just keep you know going there and it's really close. If you put the radials on like they recommend, this is almost spot on. So let's say we want to go to 20, we just put it right here for 20. And then if we want to go to 40, we just measure it all the way up here to 40. And you get your radio out and put like a 5 watt AM carrier into it and just adjust this for SWR. Or if you have like a Nano VNA. So if you have like a Nano VNA, you can sit there and adjust this thing. And um, you could very easily tune it without even having to mess with the radio. So, but I mean, this thing's awesome. It's not the best world, uh, world's best antenna, but I think it's one of the easiest ones and quickest ones to use. So, for me, I've got all, I've got the whole entire kit, but I only really use what I'm showing you right there because I don't operate at nighttime with it, so I'm not really getting on 80. Um, this is the titanium whip, and you can coil it up like this. And it actually looks like it bent. It did. So I, I'm not a fan of this idea here, but this one probably looks bent. So it looks like it finally got damaged. So, um, let's see where was that at? I honestly can't tell now. Oh, right here. So. It is supposed to be made out of titanium. I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like it's super light and all that. I don't know how well it works. I just prefer the aluminum one. Not the aluminum, the uh, telescope one. Which, this is my 891 box and I keep in this box a mag mount. And this is just the MP1C kit. You get your coil, you get your two rods, and then you have this. This is way better. I don't, I don't care for this junk. I don't want to coil it up in a circle. It looked like it was ready to snap. So here's this, this piece here. And you could take this, this has got the stud mount, so you can adjust it and say, oh, you put it, you know, for whatever band you want to operate, you can, you know, you can have it that short if that resonates where you need it. So, I mean, you could cover 440. You could cover 2 meters. You could cover 6 meters. You could cover, you know, any of these frequencies. So, look. They're exactly the same length. So, the tuning chart is designed to measure a 44 inch whip on the top of the coil. So, like that's the difference with the Wolf River. They don't have that and they have multiple whips for different types of bands. But this, that's junk. Just get one of these and be careful, don't abuse it. And it, it collapses down to this kind of length. You don't have to coil it up in a circle. They literally can have HF, right here, everything I need, and it'd be good to go. So, in that case, the only thing that I don't have room for <clears throat> is a battery. And if I get slightly bigger case, it'll fit. I've actually got a 2 meter HT in it. 
that this battery right here will run my 891. It'll run my Zygu G90. It's uh, a little bit big, but I think it could fit in that case if I wanted to make it fit. This battery right here will actually run my Zygu G90 for quite a while at 20 watts. So you could fit everything you needed into one of these cases. But anyway, I just wanted to show this and that. Um, so yeah, if you get this, you can just get any camera tripod and you'll be fine. So I hope that helps.